Before I start, just know this video is not necessarily to bash NYFA, but to inform you on the things I wish I would have known before coming to this school. I get a lot of questions, lots of DMs asking me, oh, how much is NYFA, you know, um, asking me about the audition process and like housing and all of that. We're gonna answer all of that here and some other things that nobody tells you about this school that like I said, I would have wanted to know before coming to this school that you guys should know. So to begin, as you can see, yes, I'm slightly annoyed because there is currently a situation going on with this school. And we're gonna get into that later, but to start, I guess you could say, I get a lot of questions asking me about the enrollment process and all of this. And I'm so sorry, but I'm just gonna burst some bubbles here and let you all know it does not matter what you audition. You could literally read the back of a book, they're going to accept you because NYFA has a 100% acceptance rate. Why? Because all they care about is your money. So they will take you, even if you just, have, you can literally just sit here and read a page in the dining hall of whatever this word is that I can't read, great house. They will literally take you. It doesn't matter what you do for your audition. They have a 100% acceptance rate. And along with that, they will give you a $2,000, I think it was $2,000, talent discount. Now, if you're like me, you thought, oh my God, this is amazing. What? I get a talent discount? Oh my God, they love my audition? And then you find out, no, they give it to everyone. They accept everybody. It sucks because people make it seem like this is a difficult school to get into. It's not it's super easy. A lot of people also ask me about housing. NYFA does not give you housing. NYFA does not set you up with any kind of housing. They do give you like a list, at least for here in Los Angeles, they kind of give you like a list of certain apartments out here, but that's kind of the extent. They don't help you pick a place. They don't help you get into a place. So you have to do all of that on your own. You also have to work to support yourself if you're not getting you know, money from your parents, like me, which NYFA makes very difficult to do. Why? Because NYFA does this thing where they basically make your schedule for you. They don't let you choose your schedule. So you know how if you go to like a regular college or university, you can be like, oh, I only want classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I wanna take this class and this class, and I wanna take this class at this time on Monday and Wednesdays, and then I wanna take this time, this class this time Monday and Wednesdays, and I wanna take that class that time Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, and so on. Yeah, NYFA doesn't do that. NYFA creates an entire schedule for you without the consideration that some of us have to work. Some of us have to provide for ourselves to pay rent to come to this school. You make that really difficult when you create our schedules and jobs don't wanna work around the schedule. I don't know if you guys saw my part one or part two, whichever part it was when I first moved out here, but, and it was the same in Miami, unfortunately. I liked Miami a little bit better. People-wise, I'm not gonna lie, administration-wise, at least they actually answered their emails. We'll get into that later. But it's the same, whichever campus you go to, whether you go to Los Angeles, New York, South Beach, they make your schedule for you and it is difficult to work. Like I said in my other video, when I first moved here, I could not find a job because nobody wanted to hire me because of the school schedule. Nobody could work around that. That was so difficult, and it was by the grace of God that I happened to be walking by my job, and my job is so flexible, and you kind of create your own hours, that I was able to work to provide for myself. I will say yes. Yes, I did get a job at Buffalo Wild Wings, but I only worked nights, 
and it was so hard to work a literal eight hour shift at night after going through basically an eight hour day of classes because you have class from let's say 9 a.m to 11 40 yeah another weird thing why are the class times the class times are 9 to 11 40 12 40 to 3 20 3 50 to 6 30 and i think it's like 650 to 10 or some crap like that what the heck kind of schedule is that and like i said they pick it for you so it was very difficult having class from like 9 a.m till 11 40 and then 12 to 350 or 320 whatever and then having a third class after that and then i have to go and do a whole eight hour shift it sucked if i had it my way i would pick Oh, maybe I should do like all morning classes or maybe I'll do all evening classes so that I can work in the morning or vice versa. No, they pick your schedule for you and they make it extremely difficult for you to work. So maybe reconsider if you have to provide for yourself because it's going to be difficult trying to work. It's not impossible. It's just hard. And NIFA doesn't give two shits. So NIFA does this thing where they give, I don't want to say false advertisement or false hope but they definitely do not meet their expectations what do i mean by that i remember being so happy go lucky super excited to come to nifa and i remember going to like the open house and i got the little book and they're talking about the school and they talk about how at the end they have this industry showcase where they invite casting agents and managers and directors to come watch you basically put on a show what they fail to tell you is that they don't do that Yes, there was an industry showcase class. Yes, agents and managers can come, but you have to go out there and get them. You have to send all of that information to them and there is no guarantee that they are actually going to come. So, NIFA being the way that they are, advertise that they're basically bringing these people in, but they're not. You have to go get them. And like I said, there's no guarantee that they will come. They make it seem like when you graduate, they're gonna help you get an agent, get a manager, get some kind of job they don't do shit you got to do it all on your own you know what they told me I'll, ne I'll never forget because you know it wasn't that long ago that i graduated graduated it wasn't that long ago and you know what they told me because i asked in class i said so how do we go about getting you know agents and managers since we don't that industry showcase wasn't a thing like yes it was a thing but it was like our family and friends watching it wasn't like a thing with like agents watching unless somebody happened to send out an invite and the agent actually came, which we don't know. At least I didn't know. You would think they would help you out. They don't. You know what this dude tells me, right? Because I asked, I'm like, so how do we go about like getting agents and managers and whatnot? He tells me, you don't need an agent. You don't need a manager. Why would you get one of those? And I was just kind of like, wait, what? And he was like, you don't have anything on your reel. You don't have anything to show them, so why would you need one? Like, excuse the hell out of me. Isn't that the whole purpose of the school? To be able to go and get an agent so that I can work? No, he straight up said, no, you can go on like Actors Access or like, what's that other one? Central Casting, Backstage, that's how you find work. He said, you do that and then you build your reel and then go find an agent. I'm sorry, what did I just pay you $50,000 for? Didn't, didn't I like come to you so that you guys could help me build my reel so that I could go out and get an agent and a manager after this? They lie. Another thing NIFA does is they force you to get health insurance. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but there are some of us that can't afford health insurance. So correct me if I'm wrong, but how are you going to force me to pay $800 for something that we can't? We already can't afford do please tell me that back to the whole i don't want to say false advertisement but i kind of feel like this is somewhat false advertisement so here in la nifa loves absolutely loves to tell you about how you get to film on the universal studios back lot they make it seem like it's so peachy and it's like the greatest thing ever what they fail to tell you is that you go in big groups of people so multiple groups of people are filming which okay that's fine whatever however there are tram tours going on 
while you are filming. I want to say like every 15 minutes, a tram goes by while you're trying to film. So filming with sound, might as well not even do it because there's constant noise. Filming inside, psh, yeah, right. I don't even... Okay, so I know for us, we weren't allowed to bring like stuff for sets and whatnot on the inside. Are you kidding? What? They don't let you bring stuff on the inside. No, you can film exterior with no sound. But yet they want to sit here and advertise that you can basically make this huge production on their back lot and you can't. I had a lot of people asking me about pricing here. So before I get into the whole like situation that I'm in with them right now, let me just tell you that I just found out for one class, it's about $2,503, $2,503. When I went to community college, it was $500 for one class. They are charging $2,000 extra for their classes. Mind you, the class that I have to take, and like I said, I will get into that story, the class that I'm supposed to take, is just like some regular gen ed class and they want me to pay two thousand five hundred three dollars for this class over a mistake that they made my mind you because nifa lacks communication god they lack communication communication and organization oh my god don't even let's go how do they lack organization and communication you ask perfect example when i first transferred over to uh la from south beach Mind you, I don't regret transferring. Yes, fuck this school. But I don't regret it because I absolutely love living in LA. And this is where I've been wanting to live since I don't even remember, remember since I was like a child. So like, yeah, I'm grateful that I was able to move here. But fuck them. So lack of communication. Sorry, organization. When I first transferred over here, the first week of school, I was super excited, very nervous because... I was going to meet my new class. Oh, that's another thing, by the way, which, okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you stay with your class from like the beginning until the end. I think they do some kind of switch, but for me, I never switched classes. I stayed with my class, which was pretty cool because like I knew everybody. So just a heads up, that's another thing. Once you're locked in with this class, you're pretty much locked in with them until you graduate, unless they do do the whole switching around class thing but like i said they didn't do that for me anyways so i'm getting ready to meet my new class i'm nervous excited everything in between and i'm you know reading my schedule and i'm like hold up why does this say technique and scene study three i already took this class i took this class in south beach because for like the first however many semesters i don't know you do technique and scene study up and i want to say we did technique and scene study up until like my sixth fifth or sixth semester and it's consecutive one two three four five blah 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 mind you you have to complete a year before transferring to any other campus also heads up i wish i would have known that before i got to the school you have to complete an entire year in one campus before you can transfer out to another so i did an entire year in south beach which is three semesters and then i transferred to la when I got here and I checked my schedule, I see that I am yet again in Technique and Scene Study 3. And I'm like, why am I in this class again? I go to the class and, you know, I'm like meeting my classmates and I go to the instructor and I'm like, I think there might be a mistake because I definitely took this class because like I said, it's consecutive. So first semester, second semester, third semester, I was in Technique and Scene 1, 2, and 3. And he's like, oh okay um just talk to the administration they'll be able to figure it out i'm like all right cool no problem i talked to them they put me in another class that was also technique and scene study three i'm like yo are you not comprehending what i am telling you because i've already taken this class why am i in this class again you guys are going to make me do this class and then i'm going to have to come back and take technique and scene four what are you doing? So I go back to administration. We sat here for like two weeks going back and forth with them telling me, no, you took technique and scene four and you have to take three. And I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? It's consecutive. How can I skip three and go to four? That doesn't even make sense. 
So I like physically go to their office and I'm like, let's pull up my transcript so I can show you guys, you have me in the wrong class. We pull up the transcript. I have to calm myself down because I'm sorry, but there's just something about idiots that piss me off. We pull up the transcript and a normal person, or at least me, who went to high school, and even before high school, you learn new Roman numerals, correct? If I remember correctly, the Roman numeral for four is IV, yes? Why did this chick think that because there was four I's, that that meant that I took technique and C and study four? She couldn't process that the extra I was a typo and that it was supposed to be three. Like, come on now, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Everybody knows four in Roman numeral is IV. How are you even working in the administration? Now here we are two weeks into class. I haven't been to my class yet, my proper class. And the following week, I finally do make it into said class that I'm supposed to be in. And I get into that class and I hear my name and I hear people in the class saying, oh, you're a Danae. Yeah, he's been calling for you. What? So you mean to tell me that I've been on three different freaking rosters here? Oh, but it gets better. It gets better. So they fucked up, clearly. They had me in three different classes. They had me in two wrongs in a right class. Couldn't figure out how to get me into the right class. I finally get into the right class. I miss two weeks of class. No thanks to them. My class has already started doing techniques because, listen, we're in the fourth semester. We figured out the groove of how the school works. We can immediately get into our work. They've already done two techniques. Now I'm behind two techniques and I gotta try to catch up. It still gets better. It still gets better. They don't excuse my four absences or however many absences it was for the two weeks that I was gone because I was supposed to be there. Bitch, did you not have me in the wrong fucking class? Did I not come to you and tell you over and over again that I was in the wrong class? And now you're not gonna approve my absences because of your fuck up? NIFA, welcome to NIFA. It still gets better though. It still gets better. So now I'm finally in the proper class for this class, yes? I had, what, did I, what, what is the name of this class? I had um, uh, acting for film scripted TV, right? I've been going to this class since we started. I'm fine being in this class. My class is in this class. I know I'm in the right spot. Then I get told, oh, we're moving you out of this class. I'm sorry, what? Did you guys just move me three times out of that class just to move me again? So you mean to tell me that you're still fucking up my schedule? So they had to move me and this other girl in my class. Thank God that the other girl in my class moved with me because I knew, okay, at least I'm in the right section this time. They ended up moving us to another class. Lucky for them, I fell in love with the teacher. She's amazing. And I also made friends with the people in the class. They're really dope too. However, the moving around constantly, that's ridiculous. Y'all need to get your shit together because there's no reason why I should be going through my semester in my classes and then have to pick up and move to another class and start all over again. That's trash. Oh, I can't. I'm getting so worked up. I'm getting angry. That was when I knew I fucked up coming out here. But like I said, like I said, I don't regret it because Los Angeles is where I've always wanted to move to. And I'm very happy that I'm finally here. It sucks that I had to go through a shitty pass to get here but i'm here the following semester i was basically like holding on for dear life nervous that i was again going to be switched around switched around switched around and they were going to give me the wrong classes but believe it or not by the grace of god they actually put me in the right classes from that point on for the most part yeah i was in my right classes however the scheduling people still suck they suck and they were still fucking shit up so much so to the point where they actually got fired. I don't know if it was like the head of the scheduling department or who it was, but they got fired because you fucked up. Whoever decided to do scheduling after that or even whoever they were before they got fired, yeah, they royally fucked our times. Like I said, our class times were 9 a.m. to 11.40, 12.40 to 3.20, 3.50 to 6.30 and 6.50 to I think like 9.00 or some crap like that. And basically, what the hell? Who, the, who starts class at 1240? 
who starts class at 320 like what, what is that what we, we can't do 345 1245 whatever 330 we, we we should be starting on the hour or like the half hour or even the 45 hour whatever that's called but like to start at 1240 what is that whatever we were all really ticked off about that by the way all right so all of that brings me to what's going on now and i know a lot of y'all been waiting on this especially if you follow me on instagram follow me at the hunter the situation that we've got going on now our last semester our last in-person semester we're chilling you know i'm kind of gooch because i'm like i'm about to get the fuck out of here i'm almost done let's go i'm sitting in class Mind you, I use I, I, I got financial aid, so I would use my financial aid to like basically pay my rent and get some food or pay my rent what I can and like advance it so that I was always ahead. They tell you not to contact the financial aid office until two weeks after school starts so that the, it gives, you know, the whoever time to process all of your payments and all of that fine whatever every single semester every single month from semester one up until the end every single semester i always got a refund check always because like i said it helped me cover bills and whatnot the seventh semester i get an email saying that i've got this remaining balance of like nine hundred dollars or however much it was i'm pretty sure it was nine hundred and i'm like yo what the fuck what you mean nine hundred dollars so obviously i go to investigate i'm like yo what is this like i've never owed money i've always just like had an overpayment and that's how i paid to live here since you know you guys don't do much help i go and i find out that they gave me three extra credit hours normally i would have 12 this semester they gave me 15. why i don't know but they gave me these extra credit hours and I'm like, yo, I don't got 900 extra dollars to pay for you guys. As is, I can't even pay rent because y'all were supposed to help me out so that I can, you know, get ahead again because I'm short. So I don't know what this $900 is. Well, they are like, yeah, we got you in this extra class. You know, you can just... You can drop one of the classes or you just have to pay $900. And I'm like, well, obviously I'm going to drop the class. What the heck? If it's extra, why do I need it? And they made it seem like it was an extra class that like I was put into this extra class and basically paying for this extra class that I didn't need. That's what I was under the impression because that's how they made it seem. So I was like, yeah, take me out of this class. And they were like, well, it's after the ad drop date. So we have to give you a W and you might have to retake the class. And I'm like no take me out of the class I'm, I'm out of this class and everything is going fine and they're like um do you want to like retake this class here or do you want to take it like outside of here and i'm like i don't want to take it anywhere because y'all said it was extra so what do i gotta take it for but if i'm gonna take it i'm not gonna take it here i'll take it outside of the school i'm not about to pay 900 dollars. the fuck gotta open another I'm out of this class, I get my refund, pay my rent, whatever, I'm fine. We get quarantined, it's whatever at this point. We're doing classes online, I finish up the semester, and then I start my last semester. And time is moving, so I'm not thinking about that freaking class. What am I gonna think about that class for? Okay, as a matter of fact, y'all are passing me along anyways. So, we get to the, I don't want to say the end, but like we get to the, the last semester, maybe like halfway through and we're like constantly getting graduation information and fill this out for your graduation and that and this and that and congratulations on successfully completing the course. Mind you, I'm getting all of these and they're like congratulating me and we get to graduation and they tell me, congratulations, you've done everything, you've completed everything, you're golden, you know, you are you can graduate. And I'm like, this is fantastic. Again, not even thinking about this freaking class because y'all just told me I'm good. Boom, September 20, no, September 12th comes, 
I graduate, again, congratulations. You have met all the qualifications, you've done everything. Here's your diploma. I even have a picture of me at the graduation that I will insert now. So I'm done. I'm finished. You told me that I was finished, as a matter of fact. Y'all just told me that I'm done. You let me graduate. Now, here we are. What is it? Five months later, my, my classmates are receiving their diplomas. And I'm like, yo, where the fuck is my diploma at? Why am I not getting mine? I put in my mom's address because I wasn't sure where I was going to be living. Because if you guys watch my I'm moving video or whatever the other video was where I talked about how I, why I moved so much. I didn't know at the time where I was going to move to. So I gave my mom, my mom's address and I was like, yep, just send the diploma there. And I never got anything. And I'm like, yo, why is everybody getting their diploma? And I haven't gotten mine yet. Mind you, I still haven't thought about this freaking class. My classmate emails, not emails, sends us a message in our class group chat. And he's like, go to this link. You can fill out the information and they should be able to mail you your diploma there. And I'm like, lit, dope. I can use my address now. I just moved. I'm here. Like, that's it. Done. Mind you. I still, up until this point, they, they, this fucking school swears that they emailed me to remind me. And I looked at my emails, there ain't shit there. You know when I got an email? Two days ago. That's when I got the email. Fuck you guys. I submit my information so that I can get my diploma. And then I get an email saying, oh, you can't have your diploma or your transcript because you didn't come back and take this class. And I'm like, excuse me, what? excuse the absolute hell out of me so basically y'all are telling me that you graduated me told me that i was done said you're finished you've done everything you've completed your classes and now you don't want to sit here and give me my diploma because of a class where you guys fucked up at mind you because they want to pull this oh well you dropped it after the ad drop date so you got to come back and take it first of all I only dropped it after the ad drop date because y'all motherfuckers didn't tell me until the following week that I had this extra class. So why don't we start there? Second of all, why are you guys going to sit here and make it seem like this class is an extra class that I didn't necessarily need because I had all the credits when I didn't have the credits? Third of all, if I did not have all of the credits, why did you let me graduate? I am done because y'all told me that I was done. Therefore, why do I need to come back and take this class? And y'all want me to come and pay two hundred, two excuse me, two thousand five hundred three dollars to come and take that class? That is bullshit. It's bullshit, and you know it. Because why are you gonna pass people along if they're not done? You give people false hope thinking they finished all their classes, they got all their credits because you told them so. And then in the end, then you want to tell people, no, sorry, you still have to finish. Excuse the hell out of me. Their lack of communication is atrocious. You can email somebody today and you won't get a response until next week. Or you might not ever get a response. Perfect example is their therapist. There are two therapists that work for this school. One, she'll respond to you anytime instantly the other yeah right i was battling such hard depression and anxiety and i can't admit when i did talk to this therapist he helped me out he did he had some great advice the few times that i was able to go talk to him however any other time when i would email him about some kind of issue or anything i would get zero response I, you guys know Shadow is my emotional support dog. He was supposed to write me a letter. He told me over and over again, I'm going to write you this letter. I'm going to write you this letter. I'm going to write you this letter because he it should, you need him for your support. He never wrote me this letter. So now I'm getting ready to go on my plane to Florida and I need this letter and I ask him and now it's, I can't write you the letter because I work for the school. I'm sorry, what? Because if I remember correctly, I asked you several times before. And now all of a sudden, now you can't do this. But before you could do it. And before when I asked you to do it, you wouldn't give it to me. I had to sit there and email you over and over and over again. We would go into these meetings. 
and you would say, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have the letter for you next time, and then I never got it. Do please explain that to me, sir. How does that work? How does that communication work? And the craziest part is I recently emailed this therapist again, who is supposed to help us out, by the way. I emailed him again. I want to say before the, before, um, not, not the Florida situation, because at that point I was done. I want to say like maybe a few months prior to when I left to go to Florida, I emailed him, I don't remember what for. I never got a response. Till this day, I've, I've never gotten a response. Obviously, I gave up. I'm not going to sit there and keep emailing you. You're not going to talk to me. People don't communicate with you here. People suck when it comes to communication here. Some people, they do. They, they, they get back to you. Others, you have to pull teeth. What am I paying all of this money for? For you guys to basically shit on us. And not deliver. Currently, I can't think of anything else because I'm so frustrated and annoyed. I've also been drinking a little bit and it's not helping. So I'm going to end this here. But if you ask me, hey, should I enroll into this school? I'm going to tell you straight up, don't do it. Save your money, go to a different school, a cheaper school, a better school, go to a university, go anywhere but here. Unless you want to have your money taken. You want all of your expectations to be below the bar. Just go on ahead and just drop your expectations now because it's it ain't nothing like what you what you think it's gonna be. So go on ahead and lower your expectations. So unless you have low expectations and you want to get a low expectation uh, education, by all means. But if you are actually wanting something good, something quality, people that actually care, people that are going to respond, an administration that's going to listen to your problems and actually do something about them, go to any other school but this one. I said what I said. That's all I'm going to say for now. Like I said, I'm annoyed. I'm frustrated. I got to deal with this freaking class that I don't want to take now because I've been done since September. Or supposedly. But you know, you guys just love screwing that up, don't you? Oh, that's another thing. They're very money hungry. So they'll figure out any kind of way to get some money from you. Just a heads up. You guys are nothing but a number to them. You're nothing but a number and a paycheck. Just remember that. There are some schools that will care, not this one. Rant over. Y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be more videos like this where I'm just gonna be me because I'm tired of filtering myself. Fuck that shit, okay? And, you know, family, if y'all wanna watch, just know that this was restricted. I don't wanna say restricted, but it was definitely like you had to go through the proceed, video, uh, proceed to video thing because this is 18 plus. So don't come on here talking about, oh, she's over there cussing and shit because you were warned that's all i have to say hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment if you can hear the music that i've got playing this is my cousin check him out his name is alexander the dawn you can find him on spotify he's got some dope music go ahead look him up like i said that's all i got though so that's a wrap